How to Flavor Brew with Bread and Apples Flavoring beer with toasted bread or roasted grain is a time-honored tradition in brewing. Depending on whether your malt was freeze, concentrated or boiled, replacing the sugar in this recipe with prepared malt will make it work better. Steps 1. Make quick yeast Gather the ingredients. Break the bread up. Put into coffee filter. Seal the coffee filter using staples. Place into jar. Fill it with just enough boiling water to fill half the jar. Leave to sit in jar with lid on for 8 hours. 2. Remove the pulp from the coffee filter. 3. Place it into a bowl. 4. Make a mixture of 4 parts sugar to 2 parts boiling water in a separate bowl, and stir until the sugar has dissolved. 5. Get some bark off a tree, make sure it's not a poisonous tree, making sure you take only dead twigs and bark. 6. Place the sugar water and the bread pulp into a saucepan and simmer on a low heat for 3 minutes and make sure the lid is on. 7. Break up the twigs and bark so they are small enough to fit in a jar while simmering. 8. Place the bark and twigs into the jar and take the mixture off the heat. 9. Pour mixture into the jar, put the lid on and place into the fridge. 10. Remove the skin from an apple, and take out the stalk and seeds, discard these. 11. Blend or grate the apple until you have a non-lumpy apple mush. 12. Put it all in a bowl, then cover and leave to stand for 30 minutes. 13. Add the apple poultice to the jar with the other ingredients. 14. Cover the jar with a coffee filter paper, sealing it around the sides. 15. Allow to stand for 10, 15 days. 16. Strain the contents of the jar several times, around 8, into a bottle after 10, 15 days. Tips This recipe is a variation on how distillers make apple brandy. Instead of leaving the liquid in a cask for a week, instead this article has taken the material the cask is made from and placed it in the fermenting liquid. Distillers place the fermenting beverage in a cask because it adds color and flavor to the overall beverage.